Welcome to the wonderful world of Amnesia the Dark Descent. My name is Tasha, and I will be your guide through this wonderful world that will make you never want to sleep again. Now, you're probably wondering, what is Amnesia the Dark Descent? Amnesia is a survival horror game produced by the company Frictional Games. You play as a troubled man named Daniel who is set out to kill the Baron of Brennenberg, Alexander, who has wronged him in many ways. Daniel is struck in Castle Brennenberg and must find Alexander and kill him, all while being chased by a slew of deadly creatures. So now I am going to um, get you familiar with the items as well as the interface. Um, this is the interface, which is tab to open. Um, you have a nice, nice slew of pockets, if you wish, for your inventory. Um, here on the right, we have three columns. We have the tinder boxes, which um, basically tells you how many tinder boxes you have. You have an oil gauge, which tells you how much oil you have in your lantern. Um, your journal, which you can click to check your notes, diaries, mementos. Um, at the bottom, it'll tell if you scroll over things, it'll tell you um, what they are. Um, on the left column here, we have your health, which is represented by Daniel's heart. Um, apparently all is good now. All is good. Um, and underneath that is Daniel's brain registering his sanity. Um, the glows under each of these will basically tell you how Daniel is doing if you can't read. So that is the interface. Um, our first item is going to be the tinder box. Now this is a tinder box. Um, or a tender cylinder. It's basically a white cylinder with like flint and stuff inside of it. And you just pick it up. They're used to light candles and other light sources of the environment. And you can see how many you have in your interface. And here we have our lantern. Woo. Um, the lantern is the most crucial item in the world of Amnesia because it lights up your world and helps Daniel not have attacks on the floor. Um, so you'll see your lantern gauge, or your oil gauge, when you finally have the lantern with you. Do not use your lantern for long periods of time because it drains your oil. What I do is on, look, off, and then just repeat. On, look, off, and then just keep going. It saves oil a lot. Um, use the lantern more than you use tinder boxes because if you run out of lantern oil, then you can always resort to tinder boxes to um, light your environment. And here is the most crucial item, as well as the lantern. Um, lantern oil. Um, the amount of oil in the lanterns are random, I have found out. Um, double click to use anything in your inventory, especially the oil. You just click like crazy. Um, oil is somewhat scarce around here, so don't use your lantern all the time. And if you have a lot of oil, just save it and use what you have in your lantern first. And now I'm going to introduce you to... A nifty item, um, laudanum or laudanum. Um, when I pick this up, um, one of the gathers is gonna come, so, um, here we go. Pause. Um, laudanum or laudanum is basically, it improves your health. Um, I don't use it. It's kind of scarce. I find it sort of, um, useless. Now before I do anything else, I'm going to get you guys acquainted with the creatures of this game, aka the gatherers. And here we have our first gatherer. Um, this is Mr. Face, aka the Grunt. Um, he is the main guy that you'll be running into because there is, um, and I passed out. This is what you do when your sanity's too low, kids. 
Um, that was Mr. Face. Um. This is the lovely, wonderful Shadow. Um, he is probably your main worry. Um, he is basically the entity that is guarding the orb that Daniel had possession of. And the meat is very, very aggressive. And it's ridiculous. So don't stand on it like I just did because it'll punch you right in the butt. And now I'm going to introduce you to one of the most annoying monsters in the game of Amnesia. Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> this is um, the water monster, or the Karnik. Um, he is invisible, so... See, you can't see him if he's just standing still, but he will follow your movements um, where you go. Um, there's no real advice I could give you for this part because it kind of just takes, um, learning and skill. Um, you can use boxes and crates to, um, maneuver around him if you just don't want to, like, run in the water. Um, yeah, see, he's angry. <laughs> So this is the second um, water monster. So there is a hallway that I just came through where you're running from the first one and now we're in this large shadowy room. Um, so with this one and every other water monster, if, um, if there's like remains around, you can throw you can throw them and he will go eat them and retrieve them. So you can go to your destination, and it's pretty amazing. So let's watch. <laughs> He's like a dog, a really scary dog. Yeah, so you can tell when he's eating things. And, um... There's no, well, I don't know. Um, there is sort of a limit to how much you can feed him without him getting full. I've only happened, it's only happened to me once. Um, I fed him this delicious torso and this hand, and then I threw the leg, and he didn't want it, and then he raped me. Um, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrug this torso over there, and hopefully he goes over there and decides that he wants to eat it. See? See? There's just times where he's not really hungry, so he's just gonna, you know, stand there and go after me instead of going after the food that I threw him. So now I'm going to introduce you to one of the more deadly um, gatherers of the game. <sighs> Here I go. Um, his name is Mr. Tall, and he's more aggressive than Mr. Face is, <laughs> and he can kill him in one hit while Mr. Face can't. So I'm just gonna wait until he, um, breaks down this door. Isn't he gorgeous? Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. 